a shell script to send email alert when memory gets low so here memory in the sense ram memory see i want to trigger a mail automatically whenever my ram memory gets low so that limit is based on your requirement you have to set some threshold value suppose my requirement is whenever if my ram memory uh, less than or equals to some 700 mb mb or gb or uh, your kb that's your wish but i'm taking here suppose mb because i have i'm having very low configuration details for my server right that's fine so now i need to send automatically an email alert whenever my ram memory gets low that to less than or equal to suppose 700 mb right that's fine so before going to write this shell script you have to do one thing first you need to configure some mail setup on your host anyway in your real time automatically it will be there most of the cases but whenever if you are practicing on yourself you should have your mail setup on your host so here i configured uh, uh, for uh, send mail command okay this command will work for me because i i done some setup for this that's fine now so through programmatic through your shell script you need to find out your ram memory i mean free ram memory and then you have to compare it and then you have to decide whether it is less than or equals to 700 or not if it is less than or equal less than or equals to 700 then you need to send a mail to your mail id given mail id right so before going to compare your RAM, free ram size first of all you should be able to know what is the command to get that see guys you know free is the command just to know your ram usage but if you want to get in terms of mb this is the command and if you observe here i am taking free hyphen m t total right now see observe here i added new column in my free command output and this is my total free size 646 mb right now see how i am going to see i, I need only this value not all this entire row right i need only this value so this value keyword is total now i am going to search with the help of grep command using this keyword now i am able to fetch last line i mean last row so in this row i need this value so this is like a field right whenever if you want to get a field you need to use either awk or cut command so for time being just i'm using awk command and i need fourth column in that output see that now this is very very important command for our requirement now let me write simple shell script alerts.sh i am writing bin bash so to whom you want to send just i am taking two as some do with python or the rate of gmail.com right that's fine now i am going to take ram free memory as one variable ram free equals to so i have a command already and i want to assign the output of uh, that command output into this ram free variable you know how to assign the command output into a variable right that's it now i need to this take the decision right whether it is less than or equals to 700 or not so that's why you know you have to take if command your ram underscore free if it is less than or equals to suppose i am taking 700 and that that too guys this is in terms of mb because if you observe here i am taking here m if you want to check in terms of g you have to take gt here that's it anyway in real time it will be gt only right but this is just practice i am taking mt if i take gt i will get zero because my ram is even less than or equals to uh, 1 gb that's why i'm working with m that's it but in real time just make a note you have to take suppose gt that's it that's fine then so no need to write this echo command just i am writing for our understanding purpose echo sending mail because your ram size is your ram free size is less than or less than 700 let me write something some messages this is while running our script just to know the whether it is working or not for that i am writing this echo actually you don't need to write this echo command so actually you have to write this thing echo let me write some subject 
warning ram size ram free size is ram free free size is low right so i want to send this to send mail to address that's it five five close your if condition now i'm running this just check it sending mail because your ram free size is less than 700 just go and open your uh, let me open my mail see that you got a mail and warning ram free size is low just now you got it right see so if you want to send some body you can send it right that's it but see here so i fix it to 700 that's why you are getting so now suppose i want to check if it is less than or equals to 500 now you won't get any mail alerts whenever if you run this script see you are not getting any output means it is not sending any mail alert right but guys here manually you are running your shell script each time but if you want to continuously monitor your ram size of your server then what you have to do right so simply you have to schedule this shell script as a cron job or in case if you don't want to schedule your uh, shell script as a cron job then you can also run this see here uh, you can write some while loop that to infinity while loop while do that's it and you can run it in background so that your script will work right so otherwise for our understanding let, let me check let me write one more thing else echo ram size ram size is good something i am writing just for our understanding i am writing now if you observe this shell script observe that right in case yes i am running this script in foreground you can also run in background and while using this server for some applications after some time definitely your ram size may not sure but may get uh, less than 500 mb so that you will get mail alert at that time that's it right so if you want to continuously monitor your server using this shell script actually it's better to schedule a cron job right so at that time don't use this uh, while so i have given just for your understanding purpose that this is you just schedule this in a cron job as per your requirement whether you want to monitor for every 10 minutes or for every half an hour for every one hour for every two hours for every day only once per day that is based on your requirement you can schedule this job in your cron tab that's it right and guys one more thing same concept you can also apply to find out some cpu usage right so same nothing is there just only the command is different concept is same right okay guys thank you for watching this video